What's up guys and today I got another haul video for you guys. Now if you guys remember my last video I ended up going to GameStop and I, they did have the buy one get two free for their clearance. So I decided to go to a different GameStop to see exactly what other items I could find and I ended up finding some pretty decent items here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I ended up getting something from Ross, GameStop and Walmart as well. So let's go ahead and go straight to Ross first because I, I feel like I always end up finding good stuff at Ross because so we're gonna go ahead and look exactly what I got at Ross first, because Ross usually has the best figures in general. They don't need to always be on some kind of clearance. But here we do have the Mandalorian three quarter inch figure of Ahsoka. Originally, I think it was like maybe like $4 or something like that. Yeah, $3.99 and is reduced to $2.99, which really isn't all that bad in my opinion. I think I already have this retro version. I'm not really too sure, but for two dollars and 99 cents with technically three it really isn't all that bad and now i'm not sure if i'm going to end up opening this because i usually don't open any of my three quarter inch retro figures at all but this is still not a bad pickup in my opinion so next we have something else that i end up getting at a different ross location and this is isn't really anything too crazy but i figured i end up getting it and here we have a Hot Wheels Batmobile. Now I think these are usually like $10. And I ended up getting this for $3.99. Now it does say suggest a retail 11. So I'm not sure if they're either 10 or 15 or something like that. But these are like the expensive Hot Wheels because I guess because they're a lot bigger. And I'm not really sure what scale this is considered, but not a bad pickup in my opinion. Now they do have the tumbler. Now I'm not sure if it's in the same scale as this one. And if it is, it's pretty cool. We do have a comic, it just says comic Batmobile, Bat Cycle, uh, does say 1989 Batwing, and then we do have the Batman the Advanced animated series Batwing, which that's actually pretty cool. But that Tumblr, man, I wish I, I wish they had that Tumblr, but for $3.99, it really isn't all that bad. So, next, we're gonna go ahead and see what we got at Walmart. And at Walmart, we do have a decent pickup, in my opinion. So, here we do have that squadron, the Micro Galaxy Squadron Wave. This thing right here was only $6, which really isn't that bad. And this is the actual Imperial Trooper Transport. And this is from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. I believe they showed this. It's actually really dope. Now, I haven't done any actual reviews of any of the squadron uh, ships or vehicles that I have. Need to do that sometime soon. But you guys can see that it does open in a 90 degree angle at the top. The turns does a 360. Uh, the other turn right here in the front. Actually, this is such a cool figure, I think, or whatever you would consider this. And you do have right here different variants. You have light armor class vehicles as well as starfighter class, which that is Darth Vader's uh, TIE Bomber, I believe. And we do have Obi-Wan Ship 2 with the hyperlink. And then that should be Luke's X-Wing. Not really entirely sure. But this is still a nice pickup for $6. It says originally $22, which I'm not exactly too sure why these are really expensive. And it does say launch edition. Not sure what the difference is between this one and the regular one, but still it's, it's a nice pickup. And then next we do have another Hot Wheels that I ended up getting right here. We have the 1982 Toyota Supra. Not sure what wave that is. This is 80s. This is number 10 out of 10. I guess the wave is called the 80s because that's what it says right here. I like collecting them. Now, I don't really necessarily open them, but it's still not a bad thing to collect. Now, I got another Hot Wheel as well. And then here we have the 1973 Honda Civic Custom. And this is the J Imports. This is number 8 out of 10. Now, this is new for 2023, but I didn't pick this up in 2023. I got this in 2024. We're right now in May, so I'm not sure exactly why this was there. It could be just... You know, I'm not sure how they do with the ways with the Hot Wheels. And then next we do have a final Hot Wheel pickup. And here we have, uh, I'm not sure what year it is. It doesn't, it just says, the thing is, I don't know if it says O2 or D2, but you get the, the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC. This is actually a pretty cool little Hot Wheels. And it just says from the modified wave, this is number four out of five. On the back, doesn't really say much. So it just says, 02 not sure if that means the year of this vehicle is supposed to be but still a nice pickup i think then i got some lego sets which i don't have this one surprisingly even though this one's been out for a while just i haven't got these these i believe are 16 dollars at walmart lego set 75359 this is the 332nd ahsoka clone trooper battle pack 
a nice pickup, I believe. And you do have four mini figures right there, which I do need to get the other ones as well. And then we do have another one, the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack, Lego Set 75345. And this one, I believe, was also $16, if I'm not mistaken. I think both of these battle packs are the same price. Now, I'm not sure if, they, if it was on sale, but it's just how much it was when I ended up buying it. So let's go ahead and move this stuff around and show you guys what I got at GameStop. So here is my GameStop haul right there. So this is the buy one, get two free as well. So you end up paying for the most expensive item as well. And I do have a pickup here that I didn't get with, uh, you know, buy one, get one, get two free. So here I ended up getting this figure right here. And this is the Protocol Droid Holiday Edition. Now I ended up getting this one for, I believe it was $8. I ended up paying it in the app and did an in-store pickup. And then that's when I ended up seeing the buy one, uh, get two free so this is actually a nice thing to have now i'm assuming it was on sale because you know we're way past the holidays but i don't have this one so it's going to be a nice addition to my holiday theme black series figures now i did end up getting the gingerbread clone trooper at ross so it's definitely going to be nice to have that one as well so the first one is the young luke skywalker 997 now mind you i ended up paying uh for the most expensive one out of these and then the other two were free and he does have the t uh i forget the t something ship i can't remember the top of my head what the name of that ship is and on the back you guys do see the other figures now i believe this is from the obi-wan wave so it's been some it's been some time so which is why i'm you know it's probably cheap then we do have these big sets right here and then this is darth tyrannus which is also known as count dooku this is $12.97. So I'm pretty sure with this haul that I ended up paying $12, basically, or technically after tax, probably like $14-ish. So basically like $13 for 13 or $14 for all three of these Funko Pops that I ended up getting. This is actually pretty cool. It's a glow in the dark and a GameStop exclusive. Now I believe all these do connect, all the ones that are on the back. So you do have Darth Sidious, Darth Maul, uh, Savage Opress, Obviously, Count Dooku or Darth Tyrannus, and of course, Darth Vader. So, it's actually not a bad pickup, in my opinion. And the very last Funko Pop I ended up getting in that wave is Savage, Savage, or Oppress, which is actually not too bad. I'm not really a big fan of the character. I do have the minifigure version of this one. And I believe the total price was $11.34. Now, it's really not too bad. Now, I'm going to show you guys right here without, you know, showing too much of the information. You guys can see the total right there, $11.34, which really isn't all that bad in my opinion. So, look at that. So, that's actually even better than what I thought it would have been. So, yeah, I ended up getting these three Funko Pops for $11, which is really isn't all that bad. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below, what was your favorite pickup that I ended up getting in this haul video? And do you guys think that I ended up getting a steal for these Funko Pops? Remember, buy one, get two free. They have those sales pretty random, and I think it's per store. I think some stores do and some don't. But comment down below, what is your favorite pickup in this haul video? And I'll see you guys in the next one.